today I'm gonna make a short video about 5 facts that you may have never heard of about the game Undertale. Undertale is one of my favorite games, if it's not my favorite game since it came out. And it feels really special talking about it, so here we go. Fact number one. Toriel was supposed to be called Miranda and be a hedgehog. Miranda is the name of Toby Fox's loved grandmother and the hedgehog is favorite animals. But later in the game production, he realized that it would confuse people to have a hedgehog as a bride of a goat king, so he turned her into the goat mom that we all know today. And that's for the best. Sorry, hedgehog. Fact number two. Toby Fox wanted to overcome a trauma. He said in the early progress of the game Undertale that he wanted to do an horror version of Earthbound. But there is something deeply complex and sad about the reason why he wanted such a creepy version of his favorite game. And few months before this video, he confessed that he was supposed to stay at his parents' friend for a week long as they were traveling for their job. But his so-called friend was not really nice toward Toby and at some point he just put a mattress on the ground to let him sleep here and Toby had nothing much but cold meals and the game are bound to play with. When his parents came back to pick him up, he was doing okay from outside, but from inside, his trust in people was broken for a long time. That is mostly why his themes in Undertale are about friendship and forgiveness. Or oh, Rampage! Good for us that he chose to be forgiving instead of turning into a bloody psycho. <laughs> Fact number 3. The colors of the game. As we progress into the game, the colors seem less monochromic and add one with another to create a beautiful world. Some moments in the games are very dark and express solitude and sadness, but there is always a character that will help us see the bright side of the path that we are choosing, as the tiny guy, for example, with no harms, running with us with a fine of undine. Even in the darkest cave, he is with us. We are safe as a player, but to imagine a child lost in the darkness around stranger, it must be really, really scary. Especially seeing other kids being friendly, it must be really relieving for Frisk. Especially when it comes to face Undyne. Fact number 4. Undyne. Well, I already explained the reason why Toby created Thundertale, but Undyne is really special, in the sense that she is the protector of the realm in the game, and she is a protector of the child in the real life. She was created after the assistant Toby had to talk with about his trauma. In the first time, she wasn't really believing him, taking the option that he was mostly dreaming and was very creative, as for she couldn't get anything from him. But as soon as he saw he could trust her, he let his guard down, and the real life Undyne, Miss Daniel, was a second mom to him in some point. She did so much for Toby that even today, he put her in a game. That's really nice. Good job, Miss Daniel! Fact number 5. The lies. As you know, some characters in the game are lying to hide something that might hurt you, but in the end, they feel guilty and tell you the truth, hoping you'll stay around and forgive them, because they wanted you to think they're cool and good friends, you know? Well, that's what I did. <laughs> All of these facts are bullshit, and we are on the 1st of April, so you should have guessed it a little. But yay, I hope you won't be mad about it. And remember, always doubt what you hear or read on the internet, especially if it's not proven by many sources. Saying that, take care of you, and see you soon!